Sanders and Thurman Thomas built and T. Boone Pickens financed. Welcome to Stillwater, Oklahoma, home of the Cowboys, where the paddle people are ready to open up a can. We have a ranked versus unranked battle coming up here. You know how chaos can ensue if they start smelling an upset. As we'll see a squad from the SEC, the Arkansas Razorbacks, taking on the 18th ranked team in the land, the Oklahoma State Cowboys. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollack, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. And the Cowboys will put total leather and will get started. Yeah. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Razorbacks offense will start this game off. And there he is. When you have a guy like this, you don't mind building your attack around the running game, guys. And he's a grown man. There's no doubt about it. This offense runs through him. Everybody gets their emotion, and everything is built on him and around him. And everybody knows this guy's going to touch the football, and still, defenses can't stop him. He can run through tackles and make big things happen. Even dating to the days when they ran the option, Arkansas has always been built around the ground game. Yeah, and makes Jerry Jones happy, huh? Noted Arkansas fan, always talking about the Hogs, his Hogs. And, and this team is always built on that physicality, built on that toughness. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. And he make the stop after a gain of three to the 31. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job by the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. On the run, it's Jackson. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? Well, they're trying to run the football there, just nowhere to go. They got dominated up front at the point of attack. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. They're setting up the screen. One of the things I love about this defense is they just have such great awareness, and they're always communicating. They understood the down and distance. They knew exactly what they needed to do to make the tackle to force the punt. That is so well done. And the Razorbacks will punt this one away. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. A fair catch called for and made. So Oklahoma State's offense will have its first possession of the game. As dynamic as this guy is on the outside, Jesse, you know he's going to be peeking that way from the free safety position. Yeah, he's been watching the film. This dude in the middle, man, he can light people up. So you can't tiptoe. you got to be aggressive and run in there. But this is a pretty interesting matchup today. And I love safeties that make receivers think. Make them know they're going to be there over the middle of the field. And you better think twice about catching that football didn't get much on first down it's second and nine looking for a man it's Bowman throws to the wideout working the middle now they've got even more breathing room out to the 31 and a fresh set of downs when I see the defense in man coverage I'm trying to get my fast guy versus their worst corner trying to get a great matchup on the outside take advantage of it to make big plays and they'll line up from the 31 on first down. The give to the tailback. Finding a way to put that foot in the ground and get it up to the 37-yard line. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Right back to the well. Is that stiff arm even a human arm? It, it looks like some type of steel bludgeoning device on his way to a first down. And that's back to back now. We've seen this running back get it done on their opening drive of the game. That last carry got the first down. So if I'm the offensive coordinator right now, I love the way my O-line's playing, and I love the way this guy's toting the rock. I'm going to give it to him again. 
Here's the handoff. Shakes off the defender. This defense has got to get better at tackling in the open field or game tackling because if you need three or four guys to bring a guy down, <laughs> have fun with that. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Leaves it with the running back. Hard running there. And he picks up a first down. That is not a flag on the play. It's just lingerie on the deck after that move. It's hard to stop great runners. It really is. That's why you run the football consistently. you got a big offensive line, a big physical unit. You run the football like this, man, it will take a toll later. But you got to tackle this guy over and over again who has this ability to make people miss and make big plays. Fights off a defender. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. Man, a nice second effort by the back to break a tackle. But how about those defensive backs willing to come up, stick their face in the fan, and make a tackle? Those are the best run defenses, too, right? It's not just D linemen and linebackers getting all the plays, but it's DBs that are willing to not just cover, but tackle backs in the open field. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. And these defensive tackles just eat people. They swallow human beings when you get near them. They're so big, so strong. They, when those guys, those running backs come in, they just need a mitt. They put one mitt on a running back, and he usually falls to the ground just because of their sheer mass and strength. It's a draw. Really nice run. Rips off six on the play, but it brings up a fourth and two. Here comes the field goal unit as he'll try to get the three. He's going to reach for a long one, a 52-yard attempt. Good, right down the boulevard. And the first points of the day come on that field goal. This is a team that really prides themselves on starting fast. We've seen that before, and here they are playing at home today. Nice job on the opening drive. Lots of poise, good emotion. They don't get the touchdown they would have liked, but they kick a nice field goal. They've got the lead. Head coach has to be happy with them. They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. And don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. The Razorbacks headed quickly to the line. Comes out throwing on first down. He's got his man. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. It's really nice when you're an offensive coach and you can basically attack the whole field. When you've got an arm like this and you can just, boom, put it on the line, it's really nice to have that. Got the completion on the last play. Still some work to do on second down. From the gun, the running back has it. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. And I don't care if I get it by 2, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just, I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. And the Razorbacks will snap it on first and 10. To the ground. He's got it again. Just finds that little crevice, and he's still up. Touchdown, Razorbacks! He broke away from the defense, and they couldn't catch him. Huge play. It's so nice to have guys that can create these explosive plays like this. You hand it to him, he can do the rest. Look at the speed. Look at the elusiveness. Get into the end zone. Nice run.
He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point makes it 7-3. to three. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And that was a scintillating way to finish that one, a 44-yard touchdown run. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. And here's the return. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Oklahoma State has it back, and the offense is on the field. They'll throw it on first down. He's going for a big play downfield. Makes the grab on the right. He's loose. Touchdown, Cowboys! And once he got loose, it was all over. One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. If this quarterback gets through his progression, David, he hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running, I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy, the connection between quarterback, wide receiver. You can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. If only it were always this easy for the offensive coordinators. One play, big chunk yardage, put points on the board just like that. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Hogs send that offense back onto the field. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. Now they've got even more breathing room out to the 31 and a fresh set of downs. Going to the ground is what the Razorbacks love to do to move those chains with guys like Peyton Hillis and Darren McFadden. Yeah, and you think of just Felix Jones along with the same era, just guys that toted the rock with some physicality, just tough guys that, that make you bring your lunch. When you want to come tackle them, you better bring it. Pushes ahead for a couple. They'll mark it at the 33. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, you clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. Well, that didn't bust for a long one, but now third down becomes very manageable. It's not third in eternity. Now the whole playbook, short passing game, long passing game, all of it's available. And after that last run, we'll see if they keep it on the ground on third. Fires to the wideout. What a job to lay out and make the catch. And this junior quarterback shows you why the scouts love that big arm of his. Both teams wanted to establish the run, and they have done exactly that in the first quarter. They've switched into the field, and we're ready to get things started here in the second. The Razorbacks are rolling down the field. Running back searching for a hole. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. From the shotgun, they'll run it. They get it down to the 35 before he stopped. 10-yard pickup on the play, and it's a first down. Well, this guy really has been a bell cow for his offense in this game. They are force-feeding him the football, and he's delivered. Now, after that last run, he's right at 100 yards rushing. And the Razorbacks have it with a first and 10. On the move, it's Jackson. And he didn't squeeze it. It's loose. 
defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. Offensive players, when they got the ball, man, they're trying to make plays, right? Trying to make you miss. There's nothing better than closing that gap and sticking that head right in that guy's chest and then causing a fumble. Oklahoma State hoping to get the pistols firing on offense. They torched this defense with an explosive passing play for a score last time out. Let's see if they go right back at him. Stopped after a pickup of four. Good run to get it out to the 34. Nice run there on first down. You know, this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Quarterback on the keeper. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. He tried to make something out of nothing, but there was really nothing he could do on that play. And I hope offensively that's not going to make them quit on this option play. That, that's a scheme that really puts the defense in a bind. If I were them, I wouldn't let that play stop them from trying to run it later in this game. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Let's his slip right through his hands, and it'll be fourth down after the rare drop from this dude. It's so nice when you know it's third and long, you know a pass is coming, you worked on it all week, get your feet set at the sticks, understand that quarterback's got to be rushed, get him off of his spot. Nice execution by this defense. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. On the return, it's Sategna. He'll be brought down, but there is a flag on the field. Let's see what that one's about. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. They'll try the run. Really nice stop there from this senior leader sticking to the run. I tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football. You can tell. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Keeping it on the ground with the single back. And the defense makes the stop after a minimal game. Let's see if they keep it on the ground here on third down. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Back to throw. It's Bowman. Oh, he makes the catch. Really nice pickup on that one as they get it to the 36. It'll be first down. Well, we know this guy is special. And because of that, his quarterback is looking to him on critical down and distances. There on that third down, there was no question. It wouldn't have mattered if he was single covered, double covered, man zone. That's where he was going with it. And the big time playmaker outside picks up the first. And you want to run the football. That's OK. You'll take some of these. But if they start to add up down the road, obviously, you might want to think about airing it out a little bit. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Productive four-yard gain there on the ground as he gets it down to the 31. Listen, I know that's not a huge gain, but those run plays add up. They make you tackle the back every single play. Physically, you have to get some guy on the ground. It takes its toll throughout a fourth-quarter game. Eighth play of the drive, and to keep this one going, they'll need to convert a third and five. Using the quick game. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. Really nice job there by the quarterback, understanding that it's zone coverage on third down. You're going to have to find someone working into a soft spot, get the ball out of your hands quickly, make an accurate throw, and pick up the first. Well done. Out of the gun, the running back has it. Able to move it ahead a couple of yards, he gets it down to the 20. Oh, 
Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Leaves it with the back. He showed it all there. A little elusiveness, a little power, and he's got the first down. That has got to be demoralizing if you're on defense because they just ran the ball right up the middle, down your throats, and they gashed you. The Cowboys trying to get a touchdown on first and goal. Wide receiver shows motion. A first down run in the red zone. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. You just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for you. They've got it down to the three. Now it's second and goal. He'll do it himself. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. Well, the QB decided to keep it on that one. And listen, if you had his athleticism, you'd want to keep it, too. Almost every time they run these types of option plays. But he's just going to have to do a good job of understanding when to hand it off, when to pitch it, and try to keep this defense on their heels and read his keys. He's got a lot of talent. Just got to make sure he's making the right decision. And he takes it to the house. Pistols firing. Touchdown, Cowboys. It. I love the physicality of this offense. It's third and goal. I trust my offensive line to pave the way, give the ball to my running back, and know he's going to physically punch this thing into the end zone. to attempt to try. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. That is what they mean when they say ball control. A 14-play touchdown drive. And finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. On the run from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. As it turns out, the fumble on that last drive set up the touchdown, David. And there's no bigger stat in football than turnovers. You turn the football over, they turn it into points. Jesse, that is not a recipe for success. Good news, though, they get another chance, right? They can make amends with this drive right here. That's all that's important. You've got to execute, and you've got to lock in. The Razorbacks want to crank the tempo. Looking to pass. It's Green. He's got him in the flat. On the move at the 30. And it is well blocked as they pick up enough for a first down. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this thing has been one-sided, and they hope to at least have something to feel good about going into halftime. It's first and 10 from the 38-yard line. He's going to pass. Caught over the middle. It's Armstrong. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. Slants are very tough to cover, but they become way tougher when you've got a big body wide receiver like that. It's almost like basketball where he's boxing you out. He gets inside real quick, uses that big body to shield you off. And even if you're playing man-to-man, -man, you just got to get him on the ground and try to disrupt him some way. He's looking for a man on second down. Incomplete. And man, is he lucky to get that one back defense that close to an interception. Well, a great job in coverage on the back end by the defense. He just got to finish the play. That should have been a pick. Couldn't pick it up on second down. Now they need a couple on third down. Looking to throw for it. Just a short pass to the tight end. He steps out of bounds, but he's got a first down on the play. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. The biggest key there is the quarterback understanding that A, it's zone, but B, what kind of zone is it? Is it one high safety? Is it two high safeties? And then you know instinctively where your best throw, where your highest percentage completion is, 
based on what type of zone coverage it's going to be. Good execution. They move the sticks, and they've got it at the 33. I don't know who on defense is going to cover this guy. Honestly, he could be a problem for this defense over the middle of the field in the passing game. And the Razorbacks getting set on first and ten. He'll just keep slinging it. It's complete to the right. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Now, and a great job by the defense seeing it right away, reacting to the screen, going and getting the football, and getting the fast playmaker on the ground. Here comes the offense on second down. Off the play fake. Pocket starts to collapse. Ball is out behind the line. Oh, looks like the offense was able to recover it. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. They recovered their own fumble, but now it's third down. Dropping back, it's Green. Going to take a shot. And they won't be able to connect downfield looking for a big-time play. And the offense got themselves in a tough situation. Third and long, so hard to execute, especially when the field starts to shrink. But the good news is they got a field goal in their back pocket. They'll send out the kicker here. He's going to try to knock one through from 49 yards away. Never a doubt for this big-footed guy. 49-yard field goal is good. So they get the field goal, now about to kick it away, and you get a stop here, and you go to halftime feeling really good about things. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Oklahoma State has it back, and the offense is on the field. He'll start this drive firing. Snagged in the middle, it's Presley. They stop him just short of the first down, but it will be second and inches coming up. And that was a nice throw by the QB. When you see that drag route coming across the field, how about putting the ball right on his numbers? Not high, not low, where he has to stop his momentum. Right on the numbers where he can catch it, keep running, and chew up some yards after the catch. Unloads to the wideout. Grabbed over the middle. It's Presley. They finally make the stop, but that one will make those halftime stats look a little nicer as we head to the break. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. All right, fellas, looks like you've had a very enjoyable day there today in Stillwater. And you know, in a day where the spread option and air raid are the offenses of choice, how nice is it to see the three yards and a cloud of dust approach? Although we've also seen some runs go for a lot longer. Physical offensive lines coupled with great backs is like a throwback to the olden days, and that's refreshing. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at Boone Pickens Stadium. The Razorbacks will kick it off to start the second half. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Oklahoma State hoping to get the pistols firing on offense. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And when you play defensive end, it's all about getting off the football. You can tell, gets off the football really fast, gets in the backfield, gets the running back before he knows what hit him. What a play by the defensive end. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. Hand off from the gun. Discards a man. Crosses the 30. He's got away. 
He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. I'll tell you, the defense is going to have to do a much better job containing these outside run plays. They better be able to funnel the football back to the middle of the field because this guy with his speed can kill you like he did on that outside run play there to the left. On the ground, it's Gordon. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one. Somehow, it's second and seven. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now, here they come again. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. This defense will try to force a fourth down on third and short from the 45. Looking to throw, it's Bowman. Throws to the wideout. Gets it all the way down to the 39-yard line. It'll be a first down. Third down, a lot of times, it comes down to not necessarily who's the most open, who do you trust the most? No, it's not about the X's and the O's. It's about the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And when my guy's better than you and I get you matched up out wide and I know I trust you, I'm finding you. He's got it on the right. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. You know, the defense doesn't have an answer for this slot guy right now. They may want to think about bracketing him, having a defender play to the outside and to the inside. Probably some sort of zone coverage where you're trying to get two bodies, forcing the quarterback to have to go somewhere else with the ball. Give to the back. And the Cowboys get it past the sticks. Well, this defense is on its heels right now, especially trying to stop the run. They're just not being physical enough. They give up another run right there for a first down. Someone's going to have to step up and make a play. The Cowboys will line it up on first and ten. They'll ride the hot hand. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Nice play by the defense, but now is a time they've got to be more consistent. They allowed this running back to go off in that first half, and moving forward now, they've got to try and take this running back away. After that last loss, it's second and 12. They'll run play action. Just gets rid of it before the heat. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. And finally, the defense is able to get some pressure on this quarterback. They had been trying all game long different ways to affect him, weren't able to get there. But on that play, because of the pressure, it affected his accuracy, and that's why the ball falls incomplete. Dropping back, it's Bowman. Fires to the wideout. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. Really nice third down sub defense there at that time. It's third and long. They're expecting pass, and they're mixing up their looks. They're trying to change the picture pre-snap to post-snap to confuse the quarterback, now forcing the incompletion setting up fourth. Absolutely perfect. And that will extend their lead even further. So after the last drive ended with a field goal, the kickoff team out there to send it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Hogs send that offense back onto the field. It's a draw. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. 
effective draw plays in the running game really begin with the quarterback. The quarterback's got to be a great sailor. You got to really make the defense think it's passed. You keep your eyes focused downfield till the last possible second turn around and hand it off. And by that point, the defensive ends have rushed way upfield and there's less bodies for the running backs to have to maneuver around before finally moving forward. From the gun, running back on the move. And the Razorbacks will move the sticks. You got to have short area quickness. That running back there doing what it takes to make sure he got that first down. They'll start this one from the 29 on first down. Quickly complete. And they picked up nine on first down. It'll bring up second and short. The Razorbacks moving quickly to the line. Touch pass on the jet sweep. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. Well, and on these little push passes, timing is so important. You're trying to snap it right as he's getting a full head of steam. When he gets the ball, he's hitting the outside, and David, it puts the defense in such a difficult spot. You immediately have to be rotating when you see that motion, so everybody's got to communicate and kind of bump over. That's why offenses love to run it. Just It makes the defense communicate and see if you can just get him out of a spot. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. Coming through with that third down conversion, and they'll mark it at the 43. This is an offense that really sees their identity as being able to run the football. Nice job there picking up the first down. And the Razorbacks are moving quickly down the field. Looking downfield, it's Green. Setting up the screen. He makes a stop, but a nice pickup there on first down. Leaves him in second and manageable. Smart play by the quarterback. Nothing open. Dump it off to your running back. And listen, he's a running back. He's used to having the ball in his hands, and he's a big running back. So if you want to bring that to the ground in the open field, it's very difficult. Great job by the running back making a play. Trying play action right down the middle. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. What a hit by the defender. That's a good throw, and that was going to be caught. But how about the defender dislodging the football from its intended target? Nice job. Third down, and this offense is already in a world of trouble. They can really use a conversion, not to mention multiple scores. They'll try to get the first through the air. He took a hit as he threw it and couldn't deliver the football. It's incomplete, and fourth down's coming. QBs and receivers on third down, everything has to happen just a split second sooner. You're expecting pressure. The quarterback gets hit just not on the same page with his target. The Razorbacks will try to pin them back with the punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. No return possible on this one. It goes out of bounds, and they'll mark it right around the 30-yard line. Oklahoma State has it back, and the offense is on the field. Takes a handoff. It's Gordon. What a cut. Now he's loose. And what moves this guy has. The jukes, the wiggles, the squirts just went right past him and picked up the first down. Now on first down from the 43-yard line. They'll give it to him again. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. And sometimes for the defense, it just takes one play, right, to create some momentum. Obviously, this guy's been eating him up. He's got over 100 yards rushing on the day. But finally, David, they get something positive here in the run game defensively. But you kind of know that coming in. He's going to get his. Such a great back, and he's had a great day. Need to put more plays together like that right there. Turns it on him. What a good run there. He has enough for the first down. 
Another good run. Man, he has been picking up yards in bunches today. Jesse showing off all the skills. And he's showing no signs of slowing down, David. This guy just gets better as the game goes on. He is a beast. And the Cowboys with the first and ten. Quick handoff. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. When a running back has had as much success as this guy's had so far, listen, defense has got to cue in. they got to cue in to him. He's priority number one, number two, and number three. That's a good start to maybe turning this defensive effort around. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Out of the gun, the give to the back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. All right, this running back's had all kind of success. Now we're getting later in the game. We've got to make sure we get some stops, get the ball back to our offense. What a day it's been on the ground for these two guys, and they just seem to get stronger as the game goes along as we take a look at the numbers. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. The run from the shotgun. Still running at the 40. He got a bunch and looked close to getting a lot more, but he's got the first down. I think you have to like what you see if you're the coaching staff here. Your offense is on the field, and it looks like you got a pretty good drive going, and you're just going to try and keep this thing marching. Keep the clock ticking. You've got a really nice lead here late. Just want to find ways to keep the chains moving. They're doing it. They'll run it from the gun. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Boy, there wasn't much room to wiggle for that running back there. None at all. Great job by the defense getting in the backfield quickly, closing up all the holes, nowhere to run. Now on second down, they want to keep moving forward and keep that clock churning. They go to the ground. They could have used a little bit more there. Pick up a three. It's third and seven. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Got his man quickly. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. He just didn't have a chance to get loose and make his way to that first down marker. I think fans get upset sometimes. Like, run your route past the sticks so we get the first down. But nice job by the defense understanding where the sticks were and forcing the fourth down. Oh, and he missed it. No good. Guys, a double-digit lead is good, but more would have been better. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. And no messing around right now if you're on offense. This is the time where execution has got to be at a premium. You need to hit completions, David. They need some big plays. Yeah, and you just want to keep pressuring them and keep making them use the clock, give them the underneath stuff. And again, when they drive the football down the field, I just can't give up touchdowns. Field goal at this point is not going to hurt my defense. Really good job by the defense seeing it and going and getting it. Nice job understanding the touch pass. It could happen. Those guys go in motion, man. I got to understand, safety's got to see that start flying down, getting ready to play that. Nice job by the defense being ready for that play. And here comes the offense on second down. To the air. It's green. Gets it out fast. No chance to run, but still a solid pickup on that one. 
I like the slot receiver because he gives his quarterback a good option working the middle of the field. He's a nice weapon in this offense. Let's see what they do on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Got his man on the right. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. They absolutely had to have that third down to keep any glimmer of hope alive. And defensively, that's exactly what I want. Make you get the third down. The clock is your enemy. Multiple possession lead. That is right where I want this offense. A chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. And you you got to lock in on your keys. When they run this kind of offense and they do the replays, somebody has to account for the quarterback, and they forgot who that was, and he made them pay with a big play. He leaves it with his back. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. They'll go to the ground. Able to get a couple on the play. He's down at the nine. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. They'll try to get it through the air. Fires into the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Arkansas. They got the score they needed, but this isn't over. No, don't call it a comeback yet. The first part, step one accomplished, but this offense obviously still has work to do, but the defense has to go out and get a stop and get him the ball back. PAT unit on the field. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. A 70-yard touchdown drive, and they cap things off with a 9-yard touchdown pass. They're lining up to boot it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Oklahoma State hoping to get the pistols firing on offense. Grab near the marker is Foster. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they get it out to the 36. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? This is what got this team in this position to win this game. Aggressive offense, taking shots. Here we are in the fourth quarter. They've got the lead. Why stop now? They came out humming on this drive, and now it's first down from the 36. Wide receiver now comes in motion. They'll keep it on the ground. The clock is on their side. Good pickup on the ground, and they'll mark him down at the 39. Well, this offense thinks that they have enough left in the tank here to run the football and run all the time off the clock. They got the lead late. Didn't get the first down on that last one, but it's not going to surprise anybody if they turn around and hand it off again here. Time is on their side, and they're going to wind that play clock all the way down. To throw, it's Bowman. Takes the easy throw in the flat. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. Man, there are certain guys that I want to make sure I hone in on, and I do not give them the football in space. And this running back is one of those guys. Really good job by the defense, keeping their eyes on their keys and not letting him sneak out and get any kind of space. As soon as he touched it, he was on the ground. third and long he has to throw for it 
catch in the middle. It's Presley. Running wide open down the gut of the field. We have arrived at the two-minute warning, a one-possession game as this offense tries to hold on. Movement from the linebackers trying to mess with the offensive line's assignments. Looking for space, it's Gordon. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. The negative play leaves them with second and 12. The give to the back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. A third and long coming up here. Wide out in motion. They'll give it to the back. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. So here we are on fourth down, and this field goal kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world. That is no good. Guys, a missed opportunity there. The lead is still three. Well, that's now the second missed field goal for this kicker. And I'll tell you this, he can't blame the weather for all this. This is a beautiful day. He needs to do better executing these field goals. The Hogs send that offense back onto the field. Looking for a productive play on first down. Dropping back, it's Green. He's right on target. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. What a play by the defense. I'll tell you, every time that guy gets the ball in space, the entire stadium holds their breath because of his game-changing speed. That is an outstanding job of an open field tackle in a two-minute situation with the lead. Trying to get everybody set with the clock still running. Looking to throw on second down. Grabbed in the middle, it's Jackson. They'll wrestle him down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're going to bring out the chains to measure this one. I think in this situation, two minutes trailing late, I think you got to be thrown to the sticks every time. I don't know if these short completions are going to get it done. You're just not going to have enough time to get down the field. So from a play calling standpoint, I think you want to think about being a little bit more aggressive. Wants to throw on third. Slips a tackle. Got it in the middle. It's Jackson. There to make the stop, but he is a weapon out of the backfield in the short passing game, and they've got a first down. Yeah, and you see running backs in today's football, they play a wide receiver basically for you, but you got to find a guy that you can throw it to, and you know he's going to catch the ball consistently. It's a first down. They'll stop the clock to reset the chains. Offense up tempo. They've got to move quickly here. Still a chance, but they've got to force the ball down the field. On second down, he's looking downfield. Quick strike complete. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. Well, I know it's early in the drive, and you're just trying to get completions and get the drive going, but this is two minutes, and you're trailing. I mean, you've got to take some shots down the field and be a little bit more aggressive, put some pressure on this defense. And the Razorbacks are in the hurry up. He'll spike the ball to try to save every precious second he can. And here we go, down to score. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. He's got it, and they convert. And they finally get him to the ground. An easy conversion for this offense. Defense not exactly the perfect fourth down call there. 